coach talked a lot about pitcher comfort um, and how maybe that's things we don't see being on the outside returning to Friday night. Just what does that mean for you in terms of your routine and comfort? Um, definitely. I mean, we all have a routine as pitcher. I mean, if you ask any of the guys on the staff, especially the starters, they got a routine throughout the week. And for me to be back on that, that routine is big for me. I mean, it's just a lot. It's a, it, like he said, it's a comfort level. And to be able to go out there and, and go out there on a Friday night, it's a, it's a lot of fun, especially in a competitive atmosphere and going against a top line guy. It's always fun for me. And I like I, I kind of take that with honor and go out there and I want to go out deep in the game and set the team up for a, a deep, set the bullpen up for save it at least for one day. And hopefully we can go out there and get a few innings out of me more than needed on another night. So I, I, I take it with pride and I, I'm, I'm excited to be back in that role. What does it do for the pitching staff to, to have Tyler back? It's huge. I mean, I mean, everyone's seen the talent he has, and so when you when you know you have a guy like that in the back end of the bullpen, it's it's special, especially when we've lost a lot of games close close games towards the end of the game. But I mean, that's how the game goes sometimes. So when you have a guy like that, to that gives you a little bit more comfort level, and when you know he can go out there and shut it down anytime he goes out there, so it's special. Were you guys sort of anxious or on the edge of your seat in the dugout the other night when he came out to pitch that inning? Um, I think everyone was anxious. I mean, everyone was excited for him. I mean, it's injuries are no fun. I mean, it's something that's kind of an uncontrollable you can't do anything about it I mean when it happens you it kind of catches you off guard so I mean it it sucks I felt bad for him when it first happened but it was good to have him back out there and his stuff looked good and it's good to have him back to normal and I think it's good for his morale I mean injuries will beat you up I mean it's tough on your emotions and mental state so it's good to have him back and and have the old Tyler back he's happy now and it's, it's good for that and I mean I'm happy for him. That arm soreness thing he went through, I mean, it seems like it just can just kind of pop up out of anywhere. Is that something pitchers yeah, worry about I think or guard it, against? Yeah, I think it's definitely, I mean, arm injuries, especially for pitchers nowadays, it's, it's crazy to see the numbers and how many people get hurt. And when you're thrown with a high velocity, it's also obviously more common. So guys who, who have more explosive on their fa- more explosiveness on their fastball, it's obviously more common. So you got to be careful with how you handle yourself and how many times you're throwing a day. And it's tough to do all your treatments and stuff like that. So it's, it's obviously very scary for any pitcher, but um, it's good to see him back and back to his normal self. I guess from a confidence standpoint, where is this pitching staff right now? Um, I mean, we've, we're always confident. I mean, whether we have a bad weekend or a good weekend, I mean, obviously we didn't have the best game against North Carolina, but you got to put that behind us. I mean, we, we got to move on and we've had a good year so far, but we can only be uh, we can only be as good as the, our best unit. So I mean, we got to put it together in all, all forces. I mean, hitters, pitchers. I mean, we got to be good. At, we haven't clicked on all pages. I don't think it's so far this year. Um, so that's I mean that's saying something to be in the position we are one game back and first in the SEC, and we still haven't clicked on all pages. So that's I mean that's we got a lot of games left, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. And the pitching staff we're excited and we're ready to we're ready to look forward to a fun week and against a good hitting team. Do you say anything to those young guys that struggled against North Carolina maybe being in that situation? For yeah, I mean, the big thing is just, I mean, obviously it was a big situation to come in there and everyone's, no one was really finding the strike zone and it looked like everyone was a little timid. So for me, I just gave them my advice and my advice is I want to go out there and be competitive as possible. I mean, if anyone watches me pitch, I mean, you probably think I'm one of the most competitive guys. So that's kind of the attitude you want to portray when you're out on the mound, even if you don't have feel good that day or you don't have good stuff. So that's kind of what I told these guys is you just got to be confident whenever you don't have your best stuff and you got to go out there and compete and I mean those guys are young they're they're still learning the game so it's special to see the their progression and and they got to move on from this outing and learn from what they can and they'll be fine you got a chance to look at Rooker yet yeah I mean obviously we've all seen his numbers it's he's having a special year I mean uh, I was watching film on the whole team and he just he takes really good swings and he's he's seen the ball really well right now I mean, I bet you he'd be the first to tell you that he's seen a beach ball right now. So, I mean, I'm going to handle him like I handle any other star in the lineup, how he handles Seth Beer, how he handle any other hitter. I mean, you got to, for me personally, I'm going to go right at him. But, I mean, you also got to be careful with him. You can't make any mistake pitches like you can't make any mistakes to anyone else. So, you got to be smart with him, but he's having a special year. So, it's pretty cool to see. Anything else, guys? You're having a special Sorry. year as well. Do you kind of look forward to this? Challenge. Yeah, I think I think that's fun. I mean, I, lo- I I love competing against frontline guys, and to when you when you get a guy like that who has numbers like that, it's always a special matchup. I mean, we had Grant, Jaron Kendall in here last week, so it, it was cool to face up against a guy like that. And so we we get another one this this week, and, and Mangum. Everyone's seen his numbers. He's he's good every year as well. So it's gonna be a fun weekend. I'm really excited, and it's uh, I think it's a big bounce back weekend, a, a series at home, something like this where we can really put our team on the map and get a few wins and move up in the SEC. Thank you.